Hi, I want to talk briefly to you about that which I call incremental progress. You know, Thomas Edison tested over a thousand filaments to find one that would re produce light without burning out. And I have no doubt he must have recorded the results of each test so that he wouldn't go back and repeat that test again. And each time you try something that didn't work, and remember it, you're making progress towards your goal. One time a company wanted to develop a product to prevent corrosion by displacing water. And that when they did that, they came up with water displacement first attempt, put it in a jar, put it on the shelf, and recorded it. They recorded the results of each test. That way, they weren't making the same mistake twice. Finally, they made water displacement 38th attempt. It didn't work. 38th attempt. It didn't work. Finally, they came up with water displacement 40th attempt, and they shortened that to be simply WD-40. I'm glad they did that. Each time they tried something and it didn't work, that put them incrementally closer to their goal of finding something that did work. In the development of products, testing, and recording results, incremental progress is taking place. Each time, at least you have eliminated one possibility. You can tackle many areas of life using incremental progress. We can remember what didn't work and try something different next time. For instance, I need to lose about 42 pounds. I will lose it through incremental progress by losing one pound a week. Eventually, I will get to my goal of 185 pounds. On any large project, try to concentrate on incremental progress and before long you will have completed your product project successfully. Thank you for watching.